What's up everyone, Sake Down here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about some of my most recent comic book sales. Let's get right into this. So I have been selling a ton of comics recently. It's honestly a lot of fun. I'm glad that I started getting into comics and selling them and flipping them for profit because I have a ton of comics left and I've already made back all of my money. We're gonna be going into this today, I think roughly just like last time, I think this is roughly $600 worth of sales, might be a little bit more honestly, but let's just get straight into this. Up first is Manga comics, honestly I didn't write down how many I had, so I'm assuming that was close to 30 of them because I sold the lot for $30. Usually manga comics I try to sell at a dollar a piece just because they're not really popular in my area, but they are stuff that when people see them at a dollar each, people that don't, if they don't have that comic, they're gonna buy the whole lot. Even if it's just for a couple of the comics, they're only paying a dollar each. So I'm assuming I had 30 manga comics sold for $30. Next up is Marvel's number one to four. This is a complete set. I know there was an issue number zero, but I guess that's not included in the set from the research that I did. This sold for $20. I actually had a coworker that told me it's gonna be a tough sale, nobody's gonna want it. I ended up selling it for $20, so I made some decent money right there and did the opposite that he told me. He said it wouldn't sell and I ended up selling it, so that did great there. Next up is 21 Web of Spider-Man comics. These sold for roughly $3 each. For the entire lot, I sold them for $60, which was great. Web of Spider-Man, actually any of the Spider-Man that I had, roughly sell for around $3 each. So now I know if I buy a lot and they include a ton of Spider-Man, I should be able to get $3 each for the Spider-Man or more. It's just usually I don't go higher than $3 each unless it's a really expensive comic. Next up is once again, 10 Spectacular Spider-Man comics. Again, I sold them for $3 each. That is $30 for the entire lot, which was great. Next was 85 Image Comics. There wasn't anything that was really top of the line, anything that was really expensive, so I sold them roughly for a dollar each, or actually exactly a dollar each, and I sold it for $85. So 85 comics for $85, still great money. There wasn't anything major that was included in the lots. I was happy to just to see the money. Next up, we have eight Speedball comics. I thought it was issue one to eight, or sorry, one to 10, but there was some missing in between, so there was a total of eight Speedball comics. It did include issue number one, though. I think at least issue number one, two, and three without missing any. Uh, this sold for $15, so not a lot of money, but still roughly $2 each or a little bit less. I'll gladly take that. Next up was a set of Alpha Flight No Future. This was issue one, two, and three. Sold for $15. That equals out to be $5 each, which I thought was great. Definitely some really decent profit right there. Uh, this was actually from my own personal collection rather than the comics that I originally had to sell. I basically went through my own personal collection, pulled out things that I didn't need in my collection because out of the lots that I purchased, I was able to pick out things that I wanted to put in my collection. So for my personal collection, I pulled out things that I didn't necessarily need in my collection anymore and decided to sell those, and that was one of those. Next up was some action comics, nine Spectacular Spider-Man, and one Canada Fan Expo comic. This was a $60 sale, so did pretty good there. Some of the action comics were a little beat up. The buyer was definitely aware of that. Uh, and they weren't anything spectacular, no key issues or nothing like that. So $60, I will gladly take that. Next up was something that I've been waiting to sell for a long time, it finally sold, and that is the 50 X Factor comics that I did share in videos. It sold for $100, so that's $2 each for 50 X Factor comics. I was glad to see them gone and $100 in my pocket, that was awesome. Next up was 20 Comic Mystery Box. That's what I started to do recently with some of my other comics. Put together some mystery boxes, trying to sell them. I've had a lot of people message, a lot of people buying them from me. So in the future, there's gonna be a lot more mystery boxes that I talk about in these videos. But this was 20 comics for $45. I think this is the one that I curated for uh, younger kids. I think I put, uh, I think there's a couple uh, goofy Ninja Turtle comics, some Spider-Man, some Batman, things like that, that included in a lot, so I sold 20 of them for $45. Next is 30 manga comics. 
These were lower end manga comics. They weren't the greatest. I tried looking them up. They weren't worth much. I sold the whole lot for $25. Originally, I only had 20 and I had it listed for $20. Then they asked if I had anything else. So I ended up finding 10 other manga comics included in the box. So I said, in total, there's 30 comics. Would you do 25? They said, yes, $25 in my pocket. Manga comics are gone. That's finally something that I didn't think would sell once again. They're gone, I'm happy, $25 richer, I'll take that. Next up was a 25 comic mystery box. This was, I think, all DC of what the guy wanted. So it was $75, which was amazing. Actually, sorry, I think I'm missing a mystery box somewhere here. So I'm gonna have to definitely double check because this one wasn't from the DC guy. That's the one that's missing here for some reason, what I have wrote down. Uh, this was the one that he was really specific. He wanted specific things, uh, specific characters, and was kind of difficult to talk to. So I ended up charging him for the 25 comics, $75 plus shipping. That is roughly $3 each plus shipping. He wanted them, he paid for it. I'm glad to see stuff gone, but it was definitely hard to curate the box for him. I like when people are like, hey, I just want some Marvel, some DC, maybe some image, randomly put it together. That's way easier than having to curate something, especially when this guy's demands were really high. But anyways, it did sell $75 for 25 comics. I will gladly take that. And then there's a 50 comic mystery box. Again, this guy was a little difficult because he only wanted Thor, Spider-Man, Batman, and I already pulled some Batman for somebody else. So I already had most of my Batman gone. A lot of my Spider-Man was already sold, like I've already talked about in this video. That was most of what I had left. So I ended up saying, okay, you want 50 comics? That is $110. I didn't think he was gonna take it. He took it, and this one I actually met locally, so it wasn't that big of a hassle. I didn't have to ship it or anything like that. He didn't pay for shipping, but at least it was gone. So that sale was $110. For some reason, I'm gonna have to do this in a future video for the DC box because it did sell. I just didn't write it down on my list for this video. So in the next video, I'll talk about that. And I'll also talk about it's probably some more mystery boxes because I did have a couple more that are probably gonna sell this week and I've been selling them like crazy. Also, if you're interested and you want a comic book mystery box, usually for here in Canada, 20 is around $20, depending on if it's just image. If it's Marvel, it's usually around for 20 comics, $35. Um, if it's all Marvel, sometimes it's closer to $45. If I have to curate it, it's a lot more, but uh, usually that equals out to be between $250 to $2 per comic, somewhere around then. It also depends on how many you buy. If you buy 50 comics, it's usually around $100 I charge for it. Uh, if it's a mixed box, something like that. And shipping is usually $20 to $25 anywhere here in Canada. To the US, I'm gonna have to guess it's $35 to $40 anywhere to the US. Uh, and that's all Canadian currency. So if you're from the US and you wanna buy comics from me, do send me a message. I can definitely put a box together for you and try to figure out some shipping. Uh, you'll have to give me your details on that. But either message me on Facebook, message me on here, comment on here. Uh, I also have Instagram, I do have a Facebook page, uh, and a bunch of other things. But these are my most recent comic book sales. Again, it's roughly around $600, just like it was last time. So that is a total of $1,200 that I've sold so far. I'm really close to making my money back, and I do want to purchase another lot. I just, I'm waiting till I hit the profit mark for this lot before I buy more. And I do have a ton left. I do have a ton of comics left. I probably have still close to 2,500 comics left and I'm already almost at the profit mark. So a lot of money to be made. But anyways, I'm gonna leave this video here. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one. Please take care. Peace.